Have you ever put something away for safekeeping and forgotten completely where you put it? Well, today I actually found something that I had lost, or of course it wasn't lost, it was just misplaced and I can't remember where it was. I found all my miniatures that were uh, in a large dollhouse that I had um, for years. And I had taken them all the miniatures out, put them in boxes, and the house went up in the attic. This was a, a period where I wasn't doing dollhouse miniatures and I needed the space and the dollhouse was too big. So anyway, so I found the boxes and I thought it would be fun if we went through the boxes together. I have a very big box next to me and I'll just take the items out of there one by one because it's too big to sit on this desk. So let's start with this. Now I can see what's at the top of the box. I have a Krizenbahn stove that I had created from the kit. Um, this is common. Um, I'm, I'm assuming you still can get them. I'm not sure if they're still made. You might wanna drop that into the comments for anybody else that would be interested in it. But I love this stove. And I do need a stove in the general store that I'm currently working on, but this one is a little bit too elaborate. So I am in the middle of planning stages for building a pot belly stove for the general store. So keep an eye out for that video. So that's one thing that's in here. And let's see. Uh, we have my stove, my kitchen stove. I love this stove. Um, I'm not sure what make or mark that is. If anybody knows what that is, let me know. Because I do like this very much. And it doesn't have words. It looks like what is a crown. But it has the four burners plus doors that open. I really love this piece. It's, uh, it's very vintage and, um... It used to be in the house along with this stove. As I said, it was Victorian the house or a little bit later than Victorian. And uh, now this piece, uh, this is one of my favorites. And the reason it's one of my favorites is because I made it myself. There were directions for this in Nutshell News and I would say about in the 1990s, I just followed the directions using mat board like you know I do now, and I created this whole piece. Um, but for anybody that doesn't know what Nutshell News is, it is one of the original dollhouse miniature magazines. It was in a small format, like a uh, seven by nine format, and it ran for years and it became Dollhouse Miniatures Magazine, which is uh, still in, um, publication right now but I just loved doing this I loved the way it turned out and this was in that same kitchen with the stove let's wrap it ah it's a roll top desk with the knob missing well that's not good uh, that wasn't like that before so somewhere in this box is probably a knob but um, this was a roll top desk that used to open and close, but it seems that it's stuck and I don't want to force it, probably because I've always had it open. At least I think it opened and closed. I'm not sure. Maybe it didn't. Oh, there we go. See, I put that away. Another thing that I put away for safekeeping, and if I hadn't opened that drawer, I wouldn't have known that was there. So that's the knob for that upper drawer. These must have been in this box since about the early 2000s. So um, let me see, is there any make or mark? No, just another made in China. So that would be in the library in the dollhouse. I'm gonna put a picture up of the dollhouse and the various rooms that um, these pieces used to be in. What we have uh, is a side table drawer opens. It's just plain, very plain. I wouldn't say that's Victorian or um, any kind of particular period, 
but it is a useful thing to have as a side table. It's very simple. What else is in here? Here is a sewing machine. It's a treadle sewing machine. And it already came with the piece of fabric, the embroidery floss, or which I guess is supposed to be regular thread, and a pattern for a gown. So I'm assuming this definitely, oh, look at the treadle kind of moves, kind of moves. So that used to be up in a room where um, I used to have uh, what was kind of like an attic sewing room slash, uh, room. it was a room for all sorts of things that I had in that dollhouse. Another table, and this would be an occasional table, I think you would call it. This was from a kit that I made um, back then, um, a real life kit. That's another series of kits that were very popular at one time. Um, I think it's real life or realistic. Um. Ah, the dining room table. <clears throat> This is a pretty table. I remember when I bought this. Actually, I bought this in a gardening store of all things. It used to be Frank's Garden and Crafts. I don't know if that uh, you ever had that store near you, but I remember I used to go in there all the time to their craft section because they had dollhouse furniture. And anytime I found something at a really good price, I would buy it. And I remember I bought this at Frank's. Now this, ah is my kitchen sink. I This is the second one I had. I remember I had another one and I dropped it and the ceramic broke. So I have this one. It's got all its pipes. It's got all its faucets. I really like it. This is with these two pieces together. I guess it's really not Victorian. It's more of a um, more of a 1910, 1920 um, design, but I do like them together. Oh, okay, I have this, which is a little plastic magnet of a phonograph. This is the magnet, and this is really cute. Now, the chairs that I used for the dining room were these chairs. They're plastic Christmas ornaments. And as you can see, there was a, an area where the, the hook to hang them on the tree were. And it really didn't go, but it was the right size. And that's what I had at that time. And at that time, I also had everything um, fancy Victorian in the red Victorian um, color palette. This is, went with the sewing machine. It's a, obviously, it's a um, mannequin for sewing. It's cute with this little sewing tape. And uh, those always were obviously together in the house. Oh, here's the rocking chair that goes with this footstool. Another, um, both of these pieces were one of those real life or realistic um, kits that, well, this furniture that I made, these pieces all were in one kit. And this is actually the um, iron on pattern that comes with the kit and I just ironed it onto my own fabric. Uh, we have a corner cabinet. This used to be in the dining room because it matched the dining room and I'm pretty sure I got it at the same store, Frank's, as opening. None of this furniture is completely unique other than the ones that I made myself. I'm sure that you um, have seen all of these at one time or another if you're a um, avid miniaturist and have been doing it for a while. Oh, here's a dining chair. Maybe I did buy new ones. Oh yes, I did. I must have bought these at some point completely at, slips my mind, I don't even remember doing it, to go with this table. The, the wood finish is slightly different, but they did go together, I guess. 
and I have four of them. There we go. They're pretty. I wouldn't know. I don't know if that's like a Queen Anne style. I'm not sure. I'm not really too versed on um, furniture styles. Now, where do we here? Oh. See, now I'm really forgetting. This is like Christmas. I don't remember buying this whole set. I just assumed that I used this table, but I must have bought the set at some point. To replace this table. So what what did I do with this table? Maybe I put it in the sewing room. It has been about 20 something years, my friends. So that is why I can't remember where what went where. But now that would mean that this corner cabinet did not match the dining room. Hmm. Interesting. Ah. I can only imagine that at some point I bought all this furniture after the fact because I do not remember this. Isn't that crazy? I don't remember this. Where did I get it? Did I shoplift it? No, no, I did not. But I don't remember where I got that or when I got it, but it definitely was not in the house. I must have bought all this after I closed up the house. As I saw it, I would buy it. Well, this is a beautiful piece. Let me see what this is. It doesn't have a maker's name, but it's beautiful. Look at this. All the drawers open. It's really fine, finely made. Oh, what was the name of that store online? Oh, I can't think of it. I'll have to think about it what it was called. It was not Bohemian. It was something like that. And they made import items and they sold this kind of furniture on it. No, no, it does not have any kind of name on it. This is the piano for this stool. It's a actually an organ. The Victorian organ is from a Kissenbaum kit, just like with the the stove. Also, was a Kissenbaum kit. They're plastic, and you put them together like a puzzle. And really nice quality. They always had really fine um, details. And this was in the living room of a Victorian house. Very cute. I've had actually, one of the things that I have been looking for because it's stuck in my head that I had this and I bought this probably before I bought this bed and before I bought this furniture. I'm going to put this stuff away and then I'm going to open the next box because I'm running out of room. This is a beautiful afghan. It's a beautiful afghan, hand-stitched by some really wonderful person um, online. I think I bought it um, probably on eBay many years ago. This is, um, I'm going to be making a toy store in the future, and this was one of the cabinets that I did buy in order to, it's glued, I didn't even open it. Um, oh, this is that company, Town Square Miniatures. Oh, I'm sorry, Town Square Miniatures is the stove that I said that I like. So that white stove is also Town Square Miniatures. Probably half of you were screaming at me, Diane. It's Town Square Miniatures. What are you talking about? Okay. This is Heidi Ott, Switzerland. This is a gorgeous little red fire truck. Again, this is um, something that's going to be for the toy store. I'm going to take it out so you can see it. It's just so cool. It's going to be 
going to be for the toy store. Um, some things have fallen off that need to be put back on, but that's not a problem. I can see that the holes are right there. But look how cute that is. The city fire department. It's really cute. It's got a fire engine ladder and little pieces. So I really like that. I look forward to building the toy store. It's going to be pretty big. It's a, um, a McKinley dollhouse that's already sitting on a shelf, already constructed. It's just a um, waiting for do the walls and the floors and even the exterior in a design that would reflect a toy store. So that's coming one day, just like everything else. There's always another project in the wings. This is handmade. It's a handmade clay, polymer clay bear. Look how small she made this artist made all those little fasteners. That's just amazing to me that somebody made that. I have, these are interesting. I don't remember these, but I have quite a few of these. Um, they're little, they might've been given to me as a gift. They're little tiny table frames and they sit on these metal flowers. There's two pink ones and there's two blue ones. Very interesting. Are you, as anybody out there like me, you forget what you have? Okay, this is from Leslie's Miniature Knitting Complimentary Items. So this must be this beautiful piece. I'm so happy that I found this. This is Leslie's Miniature Knitting. She did make this and this was the complimentary piece, which is a rice, a cock horse to Banbury Cross. Don't know what that means. Um, it sounds very um, British does not sound American, so I would assume Leslie's Miniature Knitting Complimentary Item. So it's www.leslie, L-E-S-L-E-Y, Miniature Knitting. This is so much stuff. Wow. Oh. Now he's really cute. He is knitted, it looks like tiny little bear knitted hand knitted I'm pretty sure it's hand knitted and again I believe that was an eBay find let's see what this is I'm hoping that all the names of I'm just so bad at this kind of thing and, and I seem unappreciative but I'm not this this uh, this was an eBay find for the toy store it's the Batmobile, two Batmans, Robin, the Riddler, <gasps> Harley Quinn. I have Harley Quinn. Oh, I didn't even know that. That is so cool. And the Joker. So that's really cool. And those are for the toy store when I do make it. Look at this. Somebody made this, and it is Yoko Zono. If anyone who knows who Yoko Zono is, please let me know. I would like to um, look these people up again because I would love to buy from many of these artists that I did collect at one time. Oh, everything comes out. I didn't realize that. The bear, the bears come out. This bear is glued to the back. And then there's a little cake with the baby shoes on it. This is just so adorable. Really nice. A wooden dollhouse for the dollhouse. That needs to be finished, obviously. We need to, I guess that you would consider that um, one quarter inch or is that one fourth? 144th. I'm not sure. If anybody knows the scale of this, let me know. Not that it really matters. I'm going to hand make everything for it. Oh, 
look at this. I hope I have receipts for all this. I do somewhere have a receipt for everything that I bought, and I'm going to do my best to uh, marry them up to the items that I have. This is a christening outfit, or maybe it's just a baby gown, but let's look at the little hat that was crocheted and the beautiful outfit, just beautiful. Such gorgeous work. I envy anybody that does any kind of needlework because I've never tried it. And uh, I don't knit and I don't crochet, so anybody that does it even in a, in miniature I, is even more amazing to me. This is a little chair. This is by Terry Zano. Oh, okay, so it's the same person that made the um, toy box. So Terry Zano, really pretty, very, very nice. Oh, and this, I love this. This is one of those, I believe, furniture kit, Sylvan family. It's the Sylvan dollhouse for a dollhouse. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, look at that tiny furniture. We got a table. I think that's a chest of drawers, another chest of drawers, a dresser. Um, I'm not sure what that is. I think it's supposed to be a refrigerator. Look at the size of that chair. Isn't that amazing? Um, another chest of drawers and another chair. That's just lovely. So. These are tiny little knitted booties by Carolyn Wallace, Kingston, Massachusetts. And Carolyn made this wonderful um, cookie monster and these tiny little shoes. They're adorable, if you can see them. I have some mini trucks. Ooh, these are very heavy, but they have, they do have moving wheels, do they? No. So these are probably um, cast iron or pewter painted. So those are over there. And I have a few of, okay. this is cute. Look at that. It's too big, obviously. It's a ray gun. I believe that's Japanese um, maker. And it's uh, like a water gun, ray gun. It's so cute. It's a little too big, but I guess I um, shouldn't be putting guns in my, sh my toy shop anyway, right? What was I thinking? Here's a bunch of other tiny cars. Look how small they are. Just adorable. They look like the wheels turn, but I don't think they actually turn. But they are micro small. And they'll, those will be going in the toy shop. Here are another pair of booties. I wonder if these were by Carolyn as well. Um, they're very cute. I think they're more of one sixth, um, but still, they're adorable. Um, here, are two Hummel plates. One is of a little girl with an umbrella and one is two little girls, one kissing the other on the cheek. And um, they are made by Reuter Porcelain. They're really adorable. Obviously those will go into the shop too. Ah. This is a beautiful resin lady. She's not, she's definitely not porcelain and she's definitely not clay. It's signed D. 
Sale Cabal. Is that familiar to anybody? Really beautiful. Maybe it is some. Um, I think it's resin. Maybe hand sculpted and then a mold made and then um, hand painted. It's definitely hand painted, but it's adorable. I love it. Let's see what this is. Ah, this is a castle. Look how wonderful that is. I don't know if this is handcrafted. It, it is in some ways, it's handcrafted, but I think it might be a, um, there's the gate. I think it might be a mass produced castle. I don't think this is um, um, a one-off by a craftsman. It's beautiful though. Oh, a resin cupy. I think I've got two of them. Look at them. Oh, this one. No, I think. Oh, no, this one, this small one is definitely porcelain. But this one, I think, is resin. Yeah, this one's resin. But look how cute they are. Who doesn't love a cupy doll? Look at that face. Tiny little duck. Not sure where that came from, but let's put that away someplace safe. Um, these are just action figures that Captain America and Iron Man, I mean, Robert Downey Jr. and Chris Evans, I mean, really? Do I have to say more? So there you go. Those go in the toy store. Okay, a few more things and then we'll be done. Now this is Smidgen's Handmade Miniatures. American Made is still the best. 1938 um, Buell Avenue, Lima, New York. So this is made by a handcrafted person. They, it is um, also obviously laser cut. It's supposed to be um, little cutouts for children to play a uh, farm with. There's cows, there's a pig, there's ducks, there's rabbits, there's cats, there's a little car, even an apple. But isn't that cute? Um, Smidgen's, America's, American made. Really cute. Here is a rosebud matches, damp proof. Wow, this, this box itself looks um, vintage. Oh, I remember this doll. This is porcelain. And look how, again, another doll with the very fine links holding her together. She's got a little diaper. She even has a clothes pin. Somebody had the dexterity to create a clothes pin that small and paint a face that small. I'm just amazed by that. And uh, she looks like might have a signature on the back, or maybe it's just the serial number of the mold. But it's just beautiful. And that's why she is in her own blanket in a beautiful vintage box, rosebud. Let's wrap her up a little better this way. She's just wonderful. And this is something, again, it's just a toy that I saw but I thought it was just so cool. And um, it's a car wash. And I'm assuming these little cars go with it. That's what I think, that these cars go through the car wash. How cute is that? And there's the exit. Yep, definitely what it is. Those stickers are coming off we'll have to fix that but I think that's just really cute for a um, toy store got two more things oh, look it this is also timely it is a Barbie thermos is definitely Barbie size but it is a Barbie thermos I wish it was pink but it is so cute Look how cute that is. 
It's got all the old vintage Barbies on it. And a single banana, which is strange, but okay. I Maybe I was given the banana with the Barbie. And this was, this will be the last piece. Let's see what it is. Oh, another beautiful baby. This one is, um, it looks like it's the same painted face as the other one. God, they must use a microscope to paint that face because it's so well done. Yeah, it's the same mold, but look how cute this baby is. Again, for the toy store. These are all for the toy store. And I have so many more ones that I didn't forget um, sitting on the side. So I'm thinking that we really need to get this toy store done. So once I get the general store done, I think I'm going to start concentrating on the toy store. I do love all the furniture for the Victorian house, but that can wait. I think these, all these beautiful miniature toys need to have a home and not sit in a box where they're not appreciated. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up by liking it. And, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love to have you as part of the group. And uh, I will be back next week with a video creating more miniatures for the general store so we can get that going and fill it from bottom to top with some really cool things. I hope you enjoy your week and I'll uh, see you then. Bye.